My name is Terry Lee. I'm a local artist here in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. I was born in Coeur d'Alene, so I'm an actual native. I came back to Coeur d'Alene in 1994 to pursue art here because uh, this is where family was, is, and um, it was just a, a little cheaper experience to do it here rather than Southern California. And I was able to focus on it full time and pursue uh, day and night until I could uh, obtain the the result that I was after for my artwork. Pursuing my art career in Coeur d'Alene was mostly due to uh, realizing what I wanted to be when I grow up. Uh, I was 45 years old when I came back to Coeur d'Alene and uh, it was convenient for me to come back here because of family and friends and work day and night to, uh, to work on that, uh, that process. Um, I was also introduced to, some, to a, a very a uh, famous artist here locally, uh, it lives in Harrison, Idaho, George Carlson, who was a big influence on, on uh, helping me pursue the art and uh, realizing the goals that I wanted. And uh, Coeur d'Alene just suited me as being hometown and being able to focus. Coeur d'Alene on the whole has, um, has it's taken a reawakening of art to make people more conscious of it. When I travel uh, all over the world, I've seen art in public places, and we haven't had that in Coeur d'Alene up until the last, probably within 10 years or less, that we've really put together committees and so forth that are interested in, in placing public art in, uh, in all these great places. Coeur d'Alene is suited ideally for public art. It, it's a, a location by the lake that's, that's unparalleled, and uh, it, it needed to have uh, this sort of enrichment that Coeur d'Alene was lacking, and so I think we've over the last few years have really uh, brought an energy and people and I, I think it's been really really helpful for the community and will continue to do so for many many years we'll we'll gain a notoriety uh, which we already have even nationally uh, but as well as throughout the state that Coeur d'Alene is, is an art conscious community and I, I really like that uh, I believe that the change uh, for a following for my artwork will come with uh, the involvement of uh, large development, um, commercial development, uh, these residential communities that are in bringing people in from all over the country that want to participate in our lake and uh, they want the beautiful scenery and the, the community that we have and I think along with that it'll bring an art buyer and um, so yeah I see that my work will, will be suitable uh, for years to come in our little community. Last little while we've had s experiencing some uh, political climate uh, that is a little negative, I feel, in that um, uh, kind of a no-growth attitude that, uh, that's coming to the community. Uh, we've got several uh, commissions that have been put together that have improved, I think, this city tremendously. Um, the educational corridor is beautiful. The, the improvement down Northwest Boulevard with public art involved in it is beautiful. Uh, what's happened up through 4th Street, as you go north, all of the bike racks and, and everything, it's, it's just a, a real pleasure to see this sort of thing on uh, growing and expanding and continuing to do so. If this community puts a, a big stop on growth, then you might as well roll up the streets uh, in downtown Coeur d'Alene. We, pu public art is going to help businesses that need to thrive against the big box stores, that need to have a uniqueness, and, and that's only going to come through positive, forward, future thinking. And uh, the, the people that, uh, that are progressing with that uh, should be applauded in every way, shape, and form.